Let's talk trailer technology. Hey y'all, wanted to talk today about uh, the technology that's on some of these trailers. These days, back in the old days, it was tires, wheels, walls, and a rear door, usually a swinging door. Today, you got all sorts of things on it, on them. Trailers and these converter dollies too. Now, on our converter dollies, we have dual tires and I've seen on some LTL company trucks a super single or a wide single tire on the dollies I don't think I've seen them on the trailers yet they're all over other companies truckload companies have single wide super single tires I'm not sure that I'd want them now on the dolly they say that they of course on all of them they say they get better fuel mileage but on the dolly in particular they say it's easier to move it around on the yard by hand if you have to just because of the, the 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 way it's all set up single tire rolls better than a than a dual dual setup but hopefully we don't get them because to me i don't know what the statistics are but to me when they blow out you're you're stuck you're dead on the side of the road with a single wide tire super super single tire but with the with the duels if you lose one you can at least get off the road or get up on an entrance ramp or somewhere for the tire guy to come get you now there's another thing i wanted to talk about was abs brakes now on your dashboard on most of these tractors i'm sure if you have the abs problem the light's going to show up like on this international when it lights up if it's the tractor it's just the the circular light that says abs and if it's a trailer, it looks like a little trailer symbol. But you don't know which trailer it is, right? So, on these trailers, they've got these little orange lights. If they light up, you'll have that and the indication on the dash that you've got an ABS problem. Now, I remember flying in the Air National Guard the Air Force on C-130s. They had a similar system. It's an anti-skid, basically what it is. The ABS is pumps the brakes for you, like the old days you used to have to pump the brakes and so they wouldn't lock up. Well, this the computer and the electrical system keeps them from locking up by computerized pumping the brakes. Now on the C-130, you test the light every time before you land, and if it didn't do what it was supposed to do, I think it came on and then shit all go out. And if it didn't do that, you were only allowed to land one time full stop. You couldn't keep doing touch and goes. Had to get that addressed. But like for us, on these uh, trucks, you know, they're, they come on, they go off. Sometimes they're intermittent, sometimes they stay on. You just ride them up when you get in. Of course, you know, you know with the ABS light on, you don't have anti-skid. So, anyway, the other thing I want to talk about was these inflation systems on these tires now you see on here on this dolly those little watt lines that come here and what they do is they keep those tires evenly inflated there's a computerized system on the dolly and there's a computerized system on these trailers this one's got one too where the airline actually goes into the axle and comes out through the hub and then goes to each tire. And the system is, should keep them aired up the same. Now, if you got a real bad problem, you go blow a tire, they won't stay aired up, but it'll just try keeping getting air to it, and you'll have to get that fixed right away. Also, you have an indication up here on your trailer, so you can, should be able to see it from your mirrors if you've got any inflation problems. Sometimes you hook up on the yard and they'll be sitting for a while and the light will be on when you hook up. So what I usually do is I give it time for me to run around the yard, do my other things, run across the scale, and if they, the light goes out, I know they're even. They've evened out. Could I mean, I don't know what the sensitivity on it is, but it might only be a couple pounds difference than the light comes on. I want you to give some attention to it. So obviously, one of those tires on that side has a slow leak, so you either get it fixed right away if it comes on on your run, as long as the light goes out when you're running, you're okay so you can stop and get it fixed. Otherwise, you need to stop and get it fixed. Now on the dolly, 
There is also a light on all these dollies that have that system. And there are different spots on the trailer, I mean on the dolly, uh, to you to watch. Of course, obviously, you can't see it from the from the mirror. On this dolly, it's on the other side over there. Some dollies, it's on this side, just depending on what make and model it is. But you get out, check your truck, do your walk around, bump your tires, you can see a light maybe. Oh, you get something gives you something to check and write up when you get in. So tell me, what's your company have? Over the road guys, what do your companies have? What do your owner operators pay for to deal with? This all costs money. Does it help? Does it hurt? LTL guys, what do the other companies have? Tell me. So go down in the description. Mark's Trucking Life Instagram page and Mark's Trucking Life Facebook group. Hook up with me on air and we'll see you down the road.